friends. So at first I was gonna wait till tomorrow because I wanted to have makeup on, but at this point I don't even care because my emotions about this movie is so strong. Like I literally just put some Vaseline on my lips so I could look somewhat presentable, but <laughs> I literally just got finished watching Love For Real. Like it's, oh wait, it's 11.14. You see that? It's 11.14. So the movie just concluded and uh, <laughs> Hallmark ain't playing. They said, I I heard you, Dara. Like, I, I understand. And we're going to, like, we're not playing with you anymore. We're going to show you why we are the Hallmark channel. And I said, listen, you ain't got to, you ain't got to rob, you ain't got to just dig in my pockets. I mean, you do what you got to do. And they did it. Off the off off jump. The suits. Marco's suits. Whoever is in wardrobe, I need them to be in charge of wardrobe in every movie. Everyone. I, why haven't our leading men been dressing like that? What? I, I'll let you know where this is coming from. I used to work in Express. Mind you, it was only for four months. But in those four months they had me in the men's men's department for most of that time and so with that came like i had to read this book that detailed men's suiting and all that jazz and i was intimidated as, as, as crap at first but like working there working with the guys um styling them it really developed a love for men's suits for me and so i see marco played by corbin blue in these suits that are tailored to perfection and i'm just thinking where has this wardrobe stylist been our entire lives our entire hallmark lives i don't understand um my rating is heavily based on like the suits take most of that of the crown rating that i'm going to give but let me give you the premise and what it's about but before i even do that Hi, my name is Dara. This is Dear Hallmark. This is a space where I nerd and geek out about the Hallmark channel because I really do love them. And they just premiered this, like a new Summer Nights movie. And we have four more after this. And this one's called Love For Real. And it stars Corbin Blue, Karen Melina White, Ty, Ty, is it Tyna? Is it Tyna Tully? And Chloe Bridges and Scott Michael Foster. Um, and it's about a reality dating show and wondering if love is for real. You have Haley B, who is a fashion designer. We see she tries to go for him um, to get an investor and the investor is like, what are you willing to do? We're willing to go all out for you, but you just sitting there holding, clutching your pockets. We want to know, can you uh, avail yourself? Will you go above and beyond to do what it is that's needed for your brand to succeed? And she's like... <coughs> well then um uh, maybe i will maybe i won't but then we have her what i would like to call her wide-eyed friend named brie and brie is what like she <laughs> the reality dating show on this movie is called heart choices and she plays heart choices like it's fantasy football she has a fan like she has a whole bracket team i thought that that was cute that they played off of that she has a whole bracket team she did a fantasy pick like she knows the strategy of the game and um, when Haley comes home, Brie thinks that she already got the investor and throws her this like congratulatory, celeb celebratory thing. And Haley's like, no. And so Brie tells her that uh, she found that they're actually casting in San, Fran in San Francisco. They're in the San Francisco area. And so Brie asks her to go um, to, you know, for moral support. Haley ends up meeting the showrunner. And the showrunner is like, I like how you're just skeptical because Haley is not here for it she see, she sees through all the games she's like this is a bunch of crap I'm not here for it and the showrunner is like we could use that and the showrunner is also developing you know feelings for the kid and so both of them go they go on the show and then throughout the show while Brie is on there trying to play the game she actually ends up falling for Marco and while Haley is there and just pure protest and, 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 and all skepticism, she actually ends up falling for the showrunner, um, which I, I liked that. And I was, I was very surprised by this movie. I did not want to like it because at the first like half hour, 
was mad slow and it was rough i'm not gonna lie it really picked up once they got on the show that's where i felt like the the story and the acting picked up for me but man oh man did i i liked it i i liked it i loved caramelina white as the ad what is that assistant ap she's a high you know she's on the totem she's high up on the totem pole in terms of producing but i loved her in this she, and she's legendary i don't think y'all understand the legendary status that karen melina white holds she was charmaine in the cosby show she was on a different world she played dejeuner on the proud family like yeah that y'all had legendary status. Oh, and Hawaii. Can we talk about Hawaii? I liked Hawaii better than this, but then you had me at a hello aloha. I'm listen, homework. If this is how we're starting, uh oh, <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> I'm 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 no more good. Um, so my crown rating. This one was tough because I was going back and forth. And I decided I wanted to, I'm going to give it a four. And I was looking back and I saw that I gave It Was Always You a 4.5. And I said, surely this is not as good as It Was Always You, but it's good for different reasons. The location really grabbed me. Like I said, his suits were spectacular. Oh, it was spectacular. Um, and I knew that this movie had me when Emily, the Wicked Witch of the West, is what I'm gonna call her. She, she's the host and as well as the executive producer. She wanted to play one of the girls as the villain to get ratings, and she wanted Marco to fall for her. So she, um, she threw Marco some dirt from Brie, um, and you know tried to tear them apart. And that did a number in my stomach i said i felt that i was like no no and so i knew because the movie was able to get that reaction out of me that it's doing something good corbin he brought his good acting on today he did it i'm grateful and hawaii showed up and showed out can we talk about the representation can we talk about the latin the polynesian the biracial all of the representation it was just so beautiful i am here for it now here's the thing i don't know if this has replay value part of me i don't know if i'm going to watch it on sunday but part of me like i i don't know if this has replay value for me um and this is definitely a movie you put on in the background while you're cleaning or you're cooking totally works I actually laughed out loud a couple times too. Um, like, I mean, uh -huh, like one of those. Um, but other than that, y'all, and then first of all, they kept showing previews of 27 hour day. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. They, they, I, I had to, like, I kept yelling and muting whenever they showed Chesapeake Shores cause I just started it. So I'm, I gotta run, like, I gotta run far and fast from those previews. But you guys, I am really excited about the second wave of Summer Nights. And this was a strong start for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, this was really great. <laughs> this was really great. And I'm really happy. And I look forward to the other movies. I really, really do. <laughs> I've got to change my rating now. I... Because the trailer for Sweet Pecan Summer looked so good. A little daytime drama. A 27-hour day. I mean, I promise you this might be outside of Countdown for Christmas. We're not counting Countdown for Christmas. This might be the batch of movies to contend with for the get. I'm, I'm saying it right now. The only thing that's weighing this down is Wedding March 6. Because I careth not. <laughs> I'm just I'm, I mean I haven't seen any of them so I'm not as invested in this this is the movie I care the least about but other than that my goodness Hallmark I love you I love you so much uh guys 
my name is Dara. Let me know, what did you think of Love For Real? Did it elicit any emotions in you? Uh, did it stir you up? Am I bugging? Am I, I promise you I'm not on the sugar rush now and I wasn't while I was watching this movie. So uh, these are just genuine emotions. Like y'all know when I'm excited about something, y'all, I am excited about something. And I just kept thinking about his suits. And I'm like, I gotta, I gotta record this now. I have to. So, yes. Thank you so much <laughs> for watching. Dear Hallmark, um, be sure to follow Dear Hallmark on Instagram. Uh, we are having so much fun over there. And I look forward to chatting with you guys in the comments. And I will see you guys for a 27-hour day.